Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn Gay, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that happened this month at iFixit. We've seen a lot of unusual Apple products this year, a smartwatch, an extra large iPad, and even an iPad stylus and keyboard. So it shouldn't really surprise us that Apple released an external battery case for the iPhone, the smart battery case. Just like the other Apple accessories we've seen recently, this was an especially destructive teardown. We had to tear up the microfiber and bring out our snipping tools to get into the case. Inside, we found a 3.8 volt, 7.73 watt hour, 1,877 milliamp hour battery that more than doubles your iPhone 6S's 6.55 watt hour capacity. Considering all the cutting we had to do, it's no surprise that the smart battery case only scored a two out of 10 on our repairability scale. Back in 2013, we tore down Valve's first entry into the console market, the Steam Box, and along with it, the first iteration of the Steam Controller. This radically different controller was met with, well, let's just say, some skepticism. Well, it's been a few years since then, and Valve is back with a redesigned version of the controller they are hoping will be more successful. With its dual trackpads, six access, combination gyroscope accelerometer sensor, and high definition haptic feedback, Valve is hoping to capture the minds and money of gamers everywhere. Fortunately for our teardown engineers, the Steam controller only required a screwdriver, a prying tool, and a pair of hands to take apart. This relatively modular controller impressed us enough to get an 8 out of 10 on our repairability scale. At the tail end of last month, we launched our all-new ProTech and 64-bit kit, so if you're in the market for last-minute gifts for the special fixer in your life, these happen to be amazing gifts. If you need more ideas to fill those stockings, we've got a huge gift guide which is loaded with great ideas for fixers at every skill level. We'll have that link for you down in the description below. Over at our blog, we have a story for everyone. Written by a guest bike blogger, Beck Maples explains how to build an essential and affordable cycling toolkit. Whether you're an avid cyclist or just like a joy ride every once in a blue moon, the information Beck lays out in this post is for you. We also take a look at how the Internet of Things can quickly become the Internet of Broken Things. For over a year, owners of a Samsung smart fridge have been unable to use their fridge's pre-installed Google Calendar app. While a broken calendar on your fridge might not seem like the biggest deal, it's an important lesson on how smart devices can lead to shorter device lifespans and even copyright restrictions. You can check out the full story over at our blog. On our channel, we have a couple of how-tos for your early 2015 MacBook Air. I walk you through replacing the trackpad and how to get to your SSD for replacement and upgrades. We also have a story that shows that with the right tools, even members of the European Parliament can fix their phones. Still, the EU could make it easier for us. How? By requiring product manufacturers to design their products so that they can easily be repaired and enough spare parts are available. Watch this story and more on our channel. For the past couple of months, I've asked you to send me pictures of your latest or next repair because I want to make sure that you always have the right tools for the job. I got a ton of people showing me what they've been up to and I've loved seeing all your repairs, but there can only be two winners of our brand new ProTech Toolkit. So I drew names at random and the winners are at Thomas Task and at Flow High. Congrats, guys! And if you didn't win this time, keep watching for more contests in the future. And that is your December iFixit Rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all of our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit and checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Merry Christmas, thanks for tuning in, and see you next year.